Hey guys, LXZ here, back with another video. Today I'd like to talk about Link's Infinites, or maybe we should just call them Bomb Loops. There's actually three different types of Bomb Loops that you can perform, but before we get into that, I'd like to cover some basics. In order to do Bomb Loops, you're going to have to buffer a short hop Z-Draw. By pressing your grab button and your jump button at the same time, you'll buffer a short hop that will Z-Drop on the first airborne frame. A Z-Drop comes out on frame 1. Add to that three frames of Jump Squad, which means it's an attack that comes out on frame 4. Now for the important part, if an enemy gets hit by a bomb, he's going to be in hit stun. But, the higher his percent, the higher their hit stun. The first hit of back air is the total opposite. The first hit of back air has something called set knockback. This means that regardless of the enemy's percentage, it's going to deal the same amount of stun. So in practice, this means a combo like back air to jab will be true at any percent. But a combo like bomb to jab is only going to be true at higher percents. This is really important to understand because this means that back air into bomb is always going to be true, but bomb into back air may not always be true. You also must be familiar with Isaacs, which is basically pressing your grab button before using an aerial to be able to aerial while holding a bomb. And for the loops, we'll be using Isaac Bear and Isaac Fair. And it's of course going to be really important to properly time your fastballs. In full speed, it should look like this. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get into these bomb loops. The first loop you can do is a Z-Drop, Fastball, 4 or 1 loop. The inputs are pretty easy, but there's quite a few requirements. First, it works better on bigger characters. It only works starting from about 100%, and you gotta make sure you hit the opponent with the very base of the forward air in order to properly connect. And because this combo is a closed loop, you can start it either with the forward air or the Z-Drop, doesn't matter. It works reliably until really high percent, but it's usually not worth it because you can just true combo it to a kill. Now, I think this next loop was discovered, or at least popularized, by famous YouTuber Mr. Danish Butter Cookies. So let's call this one Danish Loops. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. The loop is just jumping, throwing the bomb down, and recatching it with the back air. Simple as that. The only tricky part about those loops is incorporating backward drift in the process. Now for the final loops, this one's a little bit more complicated. You start with a back air, turn around Z drop, and then recatch and back air, and repeat. The problem with this one is that for most characters, it's not really a closed loop, because as you can see, the character does not go back on the ground after the first loop. So it's not like you're back in the same position. But if you do it against a super fast faller like Fox, you get a true infinite combo because he lands back on the ground after each loop. Also note that this loop can be started with a Z-Drop, which means it can be started out of shield, which leads to devastating out of shield punishes. Now let me try and address some of the questions you might have. First, is it worth going for those infinites in the real game? Um, uh, not really. They're really hard to pull off. They only deal more damage than a standard combo if you pull off at least four or five loops of each. 
and they're just really difficult. Second, is it worth spending time in training mode practicing those combos? I would say not until you've mastered the rest, such as out of shield options, bomb recovery, true combos, B reverses, etc. And as usual, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on Discord, Twitter, or directly in the comment section below. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would highly appreciate if you guys could drop a like, a comment, and even a sub if you want. Thank you so much again, and see you very soon.